everyone and welcome to a new episode of Robin Plays Minecraft. Welcome back, welcome back. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we are gonna build our base over here. Well, not build it, but uh, make it prettier. Because uh, it is not too pretty. I've, uh, I've put up the wool for each, each color of sheep over here. But uh, we still have loads, loads and, and loads of things to do around the base. Just, just look at that. It's uh, we need to fix the terrain because it's a bit uh, wonky, and we're gonna think about new farms to incorporate in, in our our space here. And also, I dug up this bit over here. I cleared the the exit here. I'll probably do some sort of structure around the walls there and the staircase leading up or something. I don't I don't know yet. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to see. But so far it's uh, it's promising in my head. We're gonna we're gonna see what's what the end result will be. <laughs> That, that was that was something and we're done well and we're done <laughs> we are gonna finish that part as well but uh, I, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do over there so I don't wanna build something and then turn it tear it down uh, the wall over there just ignore it I'm gonna repair it but I was experimenting to see if I can do like carvings in the wall with those but um, yeah we're um, we're not very I'm not very talented at the building but uh, we're gonna get there eventually and over here I wanna keep uh, fixing the, the terrain over here, but uh, before we do any of that... Yoohoo! <laughs> that was close. Before we do any of that, I wanna make another farm over here. And I was thinking to make it uh, next to this one. I transformed this one into bamboo farm instead of uh, sugarcane because they grow on the same principle bamboo and sugarcane so uh, yeah okay we put uh, sand just like that we got four uh, four pieces of sand water bucket going over there then over here and 
Yep, just like that. And this block, um, like that. Like that. And like a so. <laughs> We're gonna put glass over here. But first, let's fix this. For now, that will do. Cactus on top of each. Okay, we got some fence. We need to put a fence in between uh, those, just like that. The middle doesn't matter. We can take it out from the middle. And it's uh, I recommend it because uh, you could stop on top of it. But that should be it, I guess. Then we could make it even taller and put another batch of sand on top of it. the cactus there and I guess only one fence in the middle yeah I need one more cactus But that's pretty much it. So this is pretty much it. It just happened. Whenever uh, a cactus grows, the rule in Minecraft is that you cannot uh, grow one next to each other. They don't work. And uh, if it happens, it will break. So when something tries to grow in that block on top of it, uh, because it has uh, those fences next to them, it's not, the game will not allow it and it's gonna break automatically just like that. And uh, the cactus will drop down and come in on the water stream and be pushed here. Now, sometimes if it drops on top of the cactus, it gets destroyed. Even if I drop my shovel on top of the cactus, it's bye-bye forever. As if I dropped it in lava. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Cactus are dangerous. Amazing. Let the melons grow. We're gonna... We're gonna make a farm of melons and uh, pumpkins. But I want the what is it? The cocoa beans. I don't know where I put them. I don't know where I left the cocoa beans. Where? I think 
can meet another chest somewhere, but I don't remember where. Down here? No. We got bamboo. It's collecting quite good. Even even if some of them are floating over there and they're not collected, but Oh come on. Uh, I got an idea. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. This is good because it's uh, touching the wall. Oh yeah, it works. I'm thinking the broken down bamboo will hit the fence and drop down instead of hitting, uh, getting pushed all over there. Yeah, I think this is better. Yep, oh, eight. There we go. That should fix it. To not uh, lose that many items anymore. I still think there might be a few losses here and there, but we have uh, sugarcane at the start over there, a few rows, and then uh, the rest is bamboo. Mostly it's bamboo, but yeah. We got uh, some sugar cane here and there, and that's good because we don't need that much sugar cane. Not anymore. Um, I still haven't found the cocoa beans. Beans, cocoa beans. There they are. Oh, why do you scare me like that? <laughs> Let's put one of these. I got fifteen. Um, some of these, maybe. beans we can plant them on a jungle tree the variant with the bark I think I don't know if it works on the other one let's try oh it does work wow I didn't know okay I never I don't know maybe I knew I don't remember Put a chest here to collect them, and that's our brown brown dye. Let's see, is this making any cactus? Yes, that's amazing. That's amazing. Good. Uh, what other farms? can I make from here? 
the glow berries. We could make a few of those. Moss. Bone meal. And then we can do this and multiply it as much as we want. Well, I got thirty three already. <laughs> Can, we can use these as decorations as well but um, I'm probably not gonna leave them here I'm just uh, messing around now but it's a good idea to use them somewhere I might put one over there don't even see it but whatever it doesn't really matter um, glow berries were good so we don't need to worry about them spore blossom put one there <laughs> these particles in the in the air now the green the green particles from that that's cool uh, we also got these flowers I put it I spread a few on the ground and we if we take them to the maximum and then bones being still bone meal them they will uh, give us another flower. Yeah, uh, they're cool. They're very nice decorations. Very nice. But uh, I don't know exactly when and where. I, I need to plan it out. Uh, I would like to go make a flower farm, but I'm not sure exactly where. So we're gonna wait on the flower farm. I was thinking of a pumpkin and melon farm because we kinda need them. And uh, that's not really productive up there. <laughs> hmm. Three by three, space three by three. Mm-hmm. 
that's we're gonna make a small one yeah okay Perfect. Now, I'll leave that open like that. We are gonna put one chest for now. Hopper going inside it, another one going inside that. Then, um, bricks, I guess. Yes, just like that. Amazing! Something like that. <laughs> it doesn't need to, I don't think it has to have a curve over there, but I just want to make sure it, try, it tries at least to get everything. <laughs> um, and that's pretty much it. After that, we put uh, minecart in. And we give it a nudge and it should uh, ride along on its own now we cover we cover this with grass or dirt whatever We're gonna put it that way, and this one that way. Now, I like that. That's one. and two everything that drops on top here will uh, will get collected by the minecart down below so everything that's on the on the floor when the minecart comes around is gonna collect everything Alternating parts like that, yeah. And then each one will be an observer. Good. We don't need the bottom part. We need some more wood, but um, that's pretty much it. And the middle here, apparently. Yep. We got a dead spot over there. But whatever. whatever. 
We're gonna leave it like that, there's nothing we can do about it. Ooh, so many things in here. Right, I'm, I am gonna put some things in here because I, I need the space. We need the um, pistons. And for pistons, I need cobblestone. Do I have. Yeah. Cobblestone. Wood. And redstone. And iron. Stone. Come on. I got no iron over there. Ow. Lucky I'm rich. Pistons, pistons. Oh, I need the wood transformed into planks. 13 pistons, hopefully, it's enough. I didn't even count. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, that's good. We only need 10. And we're gonna do this to get underneath. Oh no, I, I'm stuck now. Oh no, I'm not, I'm not. We're gonna do this to get underneath so we could place the pistons facing like this. Okay, another one there. Is that it? Please tell me that's it. I think so. Yeah, that would work. Right, um, hole. We need a hole. So, let's get the hole. We're gonna Tilt the, the grass in front of the observers. Okay, six melons, five pumpkins. It doesn't really matter how we do it, but uh, I'm gonna put one. Three, four, five, six, five. Okay, and uh, we could bone mill them. Let's put the glass in. And the last uh, the last thing it needs it's a redstone dot on top of each uh, 
observer here. Now every time a stem grows, every time a, a pumpkin grows, the the stem will change direction depending on where the pumpkin grows, and the observer will see that change of. situation <laughs> and they will break it I'm gonna try and uh, capture when it happens I don't know if you can see the redstone activated there and you have the the melons over there but it's uh, exactly the spot that it's blind it doesn't matter it's one spot that is blind they will not collect from there but they will collect from everywhere else I should put pumpkins there to be honest <laughs> so that's the automatic pumpkin and melon farm but that's everything we have time for today unfortunately it's been uh, it's been amazing we've done a few a few farms and uh, we are gonna do a few more and I want to improve the the looks of this place little by little but uh, bear with me trust the process trust the process <laughs> But yeah, that will be it for this episode, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you're enjoying. And if you do, please consider giving a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, all the best.